There we, we go. Live. Boom. We Hello, everybody. Greetings and salutations. Let me know you're all in there. Hey, look, I'm watching myself, Jimmy. Oh, someone else joined. That's you, Jimmy. Hey, hey, we're Hello. the audience of three. <laughs> what the? Ooh, look at that setup. Back wow. This is probably the best setup I've done. Hey, Greg, what's up, man? How are you? Let's get close up on this. That's King Skull. Ooh, Nelly. Sound in here. King Skull is watching you. Ooh, Jimmy's on a uh, on a whole like I've got to zoom in on Skull's thing today. <laughs> <laughs> Skull obsession. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's turn that on. Okay, good. All right. Give a shout out when you're in the room, everybody. Let's see. Uh oh, Ooh, it's Jay Taylor, the biggest La Muerta fan ever. Oh, congratulations, Greg. Right on, man. Congratulations on the new job. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Dude, what are you going to be doing if you can tell us? Or is it top secret government jobs? Because <laughs> they'll have to kill you if you tell us. But anyways, I hope it's an amazing job. Hope you're making better pay. It's great to see people working and getting back to normal. Thank goodness for that. And thank you, the comic gods, for... It's been crazy here at HQ. Not only are... The warehouse crew packing and a picking and double checking Kickstarter orders. We got two days left on the La Muerta Kickstarter order, and we just started the Lady Death Majestic Statue order. It's a madhouse here. There's boxes everywhere. There's people running around trying to get everything done. You guys seen the videos? We're having fun with you guys, and that's what we try to do. Make sure you guys have a great time while we, uh, you know, do our shenanigans, which is uh, sell you guys comic books. So I hope you guys are enjoying our fun little videos. Just got done with one thirty minutes ago for the La Muerta Kickstarter, which wraps up in just a little bit over uh, fifty-four hours. Is all the time you have left. If you know someone's going to be interested in it. Send them a link. Or maybe I'd get it to them as a surprise gift. It's like, hey, I got you this comic book from where to Onslaught. I think it's right up your alley. Check it out. So spread the links. Spread the word. Lomuerta's here to stay. These videos are Kickstarter. Dude, uh, Jay, thank you for the video. And Greg, that's awesome. Uh, Josh Grimsley, shout out to you, man. I hope you and the family are well. It was great seeing you when you guys uh, stopped in. Uh, God, what was that? One Friday? You guys just showed up and it was like, oh, hey, there's people. So it's good to see everybody. It's nice to see things are getting back to normal. Wow, this is actually a decent camera shot. Thank you. Um, so I've got a couple announcements. Um, first things first, on a, on a very serious note, uh, before we get started, um, Daraj Verma, um, artist of uh, Coffin Comics' Lady Death, of the first six, seven chapters, he did the art on... Uh, unfortunately, we found out Monday he has passed away. Uh, really sad news here at uh, HQ and Coffin Comics and the comic industry uh, itself. Um, I've seen a lot of people who have made wonderful comments about him and what a great guy he is. He's a very talented artist and he will be sorely missed in the comics community, especially here at Coffin Comics. Um, there is a PayPal account. Um, set up for donations for his family and the funeral costs. Um, PayPal to DarajJ2210 at Gmail. Let me get it, see if I can get it on there good for you guys to uh, get it there. There it is. Daraj2210 at Gmail. Uh, whatever you can give to help out, uh, please do. Um, it's got to be really devastating uh, for his family and friends, and um, he will be sorely missed. Um, so if you can help, please do send kind words, whatever you can do um, to help his family out. Um, greatly appreciate it. We here at Coffin Comics have made a donation, um, and you are very welcome to as well. Let's, let's show all the love to this uh, great artist we uh, lost on Monday. <clears throat> okay, and on to other things. The work to Kickstarter, again, two days left. We just got doing a Coffin Cauldron where we gave away three Metal Legends and an Ultimate Metal to four people who backed us. We went ahead and put their numbers in on a ticket in the Cauldron. 
pulled the call, pulled the number out of the cauldron. I can't talk right, <laughs> and um, they will be receiving those extra items, that extra item that they won. So uh, we had three metal legends that are getting tipped into those backers' orders, and an ultimate legend will also be tipped into that backer who won that spin. So thank you, everybody. Share the links. Two more days to go to enter in to the Wheel of Coffin. So make sure you back that up. There's still plenty of additions left. Also, on another note, we have our other Kickstarter. The uh, Lady Death Majestic statue is going great. Uh, expect to see a lot of fun shenanigans coming up with that in a few days, maybe sooner. I don't know. Um, it's kind of odd us trying to juggle two Kickstarters at once, but you know we're doing it, and uh, I think so far we're doing it well. Um, they have announced there will be premiere editions to go with the um, statues, so there'll be one for the Scarlet, a White, and then the regular ones. Very, very good stuff. Also on Monday, we launched the Hell Witch 6-inch action figure. Um, pre-orders, so you can either pay in full or put out a deposit, whichever way you choose to do it. Um, definitely click on the links that Jimmy will be providing, because unfortunately, we're finding I can't go live on the Sworn Nation without uh, taking off the links, so that's why you can see me fine here at the Hooligan Maraga phone. Nice to meet you all. So yes, the uh, Hell Witch 6-inch action figure um, is live right now, so you can do your pre-orders. See, the order cutoff date is July 7th, according to the notes. Look at how this is going to look once you have both Lady Death and Hell Witch together. And you know what? Maybe a little where to action. I know I would love an action figure. Some other stuff we got coming up. Um, I have been uh, getting ready to make some more medals for our upcoming promo we have for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Next weekend, there'll be a very cool promo coming out. I'm sure you'll start seeing things from it probably early next week. So I'll, uh, might be a certain artist celebration. I don't know. That's for you to find out, but I know it's going to be exciting, big, big, big news. Also, today, before I get started, um, let me just do a quick thing here. Thank you. Of course, of course, man, anytime. Uh, thank you, Jimmy, for posting the links. He will be for, yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, it, it was kind of shocking to hear all that on Monday. First, I, I thought it was just, it's like, nah, that's not real. And I'm going to find out it was. Uh, earlier today, we have launched some more items in our merchandise section from the La Huerta Vengeance Kickstarter. We have a Sugar Skull Temporary Tattoo. There is the La Muerta Vengeance Memorial Cards 1, 2, and 3. There's also uh, La Muerta Rapture 6x9 Mini Prints, only $3. There is going to be a La Muerta Vengeance Double-Sided Bookmark, so you don't lose your place when you're reading and you gotta save your spot real quick while you're reading because something happens, because that's usually how it goes. Um, those are running two dollars. There is the La Muerta Vengeance commemorative trading card for a dollar. The Vengeance campaign vinyl sticker, which I took care of a special order for Mr. Gary Compton. There is the La Muerta Judgment vinyl sticker. Oh, and we also got the Judgment drink coasters are now live. Uh, the La Muerta Bandita button, which is to me the most iconic image of La Muerta, because it was the first one I ever saw. Um, there's also the Action 6x9 Mini Prints are now available. Oh, and these are pretty popular. The La Muerta Guitar Picks are also available along with the La Muerta Fridge Magnet. Those just went live today along with the Coffin Comics Sugar Skull Vinyl Stickers and a Mini Calendar. So all that stuff went live. Also, there is editions of La Muerta Vengeance Loco Edition. Not many, so scoop them up uh, before those sell out. And also there is the Premiere Edition. Um, this is Chapter 3 of the La Muerta Saga. So those who haven't picked up, now's a great chance to pick it up. The last copies of La Muerta Vengeance hardcover are available. You can also get a digital copy. And also the La Muerta Vengeance Chase Editions. And probably one of the most gorgeous 
things I've seen, but more to Vinci's the Naughty Sandre edition. David Harrigan, so freaking beautiful. Is that and a whole bunch of other stuff we have uh, on the shop right now for the Huerta. So for those who are just backing us for the first time, we do have stock available for the graphic novels, um, earlier chapters, comic shop market edition. There's a lot to choose from, from multiple dollar ranges. So we like to do something special here at the Catacombs. It's time for the Catacombs. Got some fun stuff for you guys. A lot of onesie stuff, but also the final runs of a classic title that Brian wrote. So let's get the ball moving and a grooving. And, oops, drop things, drop the things. Let's start this off. Um, this was given to me by the warehouse staff. This is the last one that is not a vault copy or mock up. This is Hellwitch Gallery Naughty Metal Coffin. Last one. Just fell into my lap the other week. Um, Dakota will uh, come into my office with a box full of goodies. So like these are the last of the last onesie twosie stuff that just got forgotten. So she goes ahead and gives it to me and I present it here. So everyone, round of applause for Dakota Reese, also known as Bonus Fry, who I hear uh, has been doing a heck of a job on the, um, oh God, trivia night she goes with, with Napalm Nick and resident badass Jeff Cooper Schmidt. Coop, justice for you, man. Hope you see the video. All right, next up, I only have one of these, but my jaw hit the floor when I ran across it, and I figured I had to put it in here um, as we're wrapping up the La Muerta Kickstarter. This is La Muerta Ascension, original art edition by Joel Gomez. This is the only one I have left. This is from Ascension. Um, it was found um, in a box while they were going through stuff, and they brought it to me, and I'm bringing it here to you guys to go ahead and pick up because it's beautiful, it's stunning. It's La Muerta Onslaught's final 48 hours, so I figured why not throw in Ascension original art for you. Next up, another find um, Dakota found, and I couldn't believe we still had one of these lying around. This is Lady Death Devotions. This is it, my last one. Um, I believe this was offered during the Nightmare Symphony Kickstarter, right around that era. All right, next up, publisher file moment, Lady Death Moments. This is the Mystery and Salido edition, only 40 were made. This is it. It's the only one I have. And he did a stunning piece for, um, oh God, I can't even remember, Scorched Earth. Really beautiful, Beautiful secret edition and naughty editions. Artist is amazing. If you haven't seen his stuff, totally look him up. His art is amazing. What you get on the cover is stunning. One of my favorite artists. Um, I remember he was doing a book with Image Comics and he did the interiors and I just fell in love with the man's art style. So for all you Jay and Salito fans, I have that for you today. Let's see. Not to be a cheap bag, but okay. More guitar picks. Get them, Josh. We got them now. They gotta have the Kung Fu grip. Yes, the action figure does need to have Kung Fu grip. Dude, let's start a campaign to get some more people into Zack. All right? Zack the Zombie Extreme, if you guys haven't read it, it is hilarious. It is gruesome. It is so much fun to read. If you haven't picked it up, I recommend it. It's more of like a... Uh, dark, humored um, reality show uh, sh with uh, characters that they exterminate zombies. I highly recommend it. I read it. I got some great chuckles out of that. Um, Josh Grimsley's a fan. Everybody, let everyone know about Zach as well. He's also part of the Coffinverse. I almost said universe. Uh, let's see. Uh, Greg Bernard. Congratulations to you. It's great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I hope, I hope to see you again soon, man. Thank you and good luck on that job, bro. Good luck. That's awesome to see. All right, next up, classics. Classics from Brian Polito's pen or typewriter, or however he was typing these up at the time. I'm sure it was a uh, PC. 
And they are back, and I'm going to keep these on until they sell out. This is Lady Death, A Medieval's Tale. Number one. Cross Gen Comics, a really interesting publisher. Um, they really, uh, the guy who created the company was a uh, tech gentleman, if I recall correctly, and he was always a big fan of comics, so he wanted to start his own comic book publishing company. They actually had like the old concept of a bullpen where all the writers and artists worked in house and worked together. Um, which I always thought was an interesting idea. I remember seeing the old photos of DC and Marvel and other comic publishers back in the day and everyone's in the offices, you got your artists doing the art, the writers you know, writing the stories and doing all the editing going on right there. It was kind of a neat era in comics. Most people today tend to work from home so you don't have the, the offices like you used to. But I just thought it was really neat that there was a publisher out there wanting to bring back that old traditional way. So it was a pretty cool idea. And then uh, Brian ended up uh, publishing uh, the Medieval Lady Death books from him. Speaking of which, this is the last copy I have of this one. This is Lady Death, A Medieval's Tale, number three. Last copy. It's the only one I have. Get it? Got it? Good! All right. See? Gus knows what I'm talking about. Zap is rad. All right, next up. Lady Death, A Medieval's Tale, number four, cross -gen. What I'm offering all you guys of Catacons are the, uh, mostly the Lady Death, Medieval Tale series. Um, I will be keeping these on the Catacons till they are sold out. Some of copies, like uh, number three I just previously showed you, I only have one, and do, I do have up to 10 of other ones, but most of this stuff, once it's gone, that's it. I am out, unless um, the comic gods decide to have Things come my way so I can present some more of these classic things that Brian has written. Next up, Lady Death, Medieval's Tale, number six. Six. Excuse me, I had the hiccup burp right there. Sorry, didn't mean to hiccup burp on camera. It hurt. Again, Cross Gen Comics, very beautiful art. I know uh, the Medieval uh, Lady Death series and, and Medieval's Tales have some very de dedicated fans. Um, so uh, there will be more le uh, Medieval Lady Death. Um, the other half of the series that was published by Avatar, I will have some of those left. I have even fewer of those uh, issues that I do with these cross gens, but these are the last of the last. Lady Death, Medieval's Table, number seven. I wish I could get my hands on some uh, collected editions of these old classics. Um, it'd be great. It would just be great if I get my hands on some trades. Who knows? Maybe I'll do some searching in the wild and find me something. Next up, Lady Death Medieval's Tale, number eight. This is a great, great cover. This is captures Lady Death's rage, and she's ready for whoever she's taken on to bring it on. Because she's going to take him out, just like Godzilla did to King Kong. Oh, that wasn't very good. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, looks like Josh and Miguel are making plans. Uh-oh. If that has anything to do with Swarmfest, which, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, everybody, Swarmfest tickets are still available. I want to see as many of the people that are on the Sworn Nation, Lady Death Universe, the old chaos. I, I want everyone to be there united as one force because we are going to take over Mesa, Arizona, and we are just going to dominate it. It will never be the same again. So if you were uh, wanting to make it to Fiend Fest a couple years ago and you couldn't, come to Sworn Fest. It's going to be a bigger, better batter show. You guys are just going to absolutely love it. Because, hey, there might even be some karaoke going on. I don't know. I don't know. God knows there'll be a lot of drinking. Next up, Lady Death, A Medieval's Tale, number nine. Number nine. Number nine. These are the last copies. I believe I have about ten left. That's right. Ten left. Maybe less. Here we are. What comes after ten, nine but number ten? I'm flubbing all over the place. <laughs> Jimmy's rubbing off on me. That sounded inappropriate. I apologize. Don't make any comments there. Okay, next up. 
<laughs> Lady Death, Baby Eagle's Tail, number 10. These are on the catacombs. Uh, Jimmy will be posting a link in the comments section so you can go ahead and make your selections and pick up the stuff that I have presented for you all today. Last but very not least, this is Lady Death of an Eagle's Tale, number 11. It's weird looking at these books. It's like, wow, 2004. That wasn't that. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, we're closing in around 20 years since that, uh, these books came out. Insane how fast time flies, especially when you work in the comic industry. Um, you're always working with catalogs, getting stuff out monthly or weekly. Um, so it, 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 time goes by really fast. Um, that's everything I got here for you today. Let me see who I have. Oh, wow. I didn't know it was that late already. So real quick, guys. Two days left on the La Muerta Onslaught Kickstarter. Stay tuned. Make sure you're notified. Set those little notifications you have on Facebook or YouTube to let you know when you're. We are going live. We're going to go. We are going live, and you guys can join in on all the shenanigans and fun. And who knows? Maybe we put your backer number in the coffin cauldron, and maybe it gets pulled. It can happen, but can't get in it to win it. Unless you join in it. So join us. Kickstarter, La Muerta Kicks, uh, La Muerta Onslaught. I'm getting all my Kickstarter names messed up. So that's going to do it for me. I just want to say thank you, everyone. Uh, rest in peace, Diraj. I'll see you guys soon. The way this week's going, I'll probably see you guys very soon. I'm Julie the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you. Everybody have a great day. Have an amazing weekend. This week is almost over. Wednesday. Hasta la bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day.